Hey guys, this is Karan Banani from Mobi Scrub and we're here comparing the Samsung Galaxy S4 with the all new Note 3 Neo. Now both of these devices are Samsung's premium devices, but of course the S4 has been out there for almost a year now and the Note 3 Neo has just come out. The KitKat update has already hit the Galaxy S4, whereas the Neo is still running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean and soon would be upgradable to KitKat. The S4 is running two quad cores together, whereas the Neo is a hexa-core uh, processor set. The Neo does offer better performance and we would soon see that uh, in the video ahead. The S4 has a 13 megapixel camera, whereas the Neo has only an 8 megapixel camera. The S4 is almost a millimeter thinner than the Note 3 Neo. But of course, the Note 3 battery is just amazing as compared to the S4 battery. The Galaxy S4 has a 5-inch display, it's Super AMOLED, and it's got a full HD resolution that is 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. That's ultra sharp. Whereas the Note 3 Neo is a 5.5-inch phablet, Super AMOLED, but a resolution of 720 pixels by 1280 pixels, which is obviously lesser than the Galaxy S4. But nonetheless, you would not really be able to make out the differences. Both offer very sharp display, and the viewing angles are really wide, and outdoor visibility in full brightness is pretty good. The Neo belongs to the Note category, which obviously is a phablet category, hence it's bigger and better uh, in terms of uh, the screen experience. But the S4 is a lot, a lot slimmer, 7.9 millimeters versus a one millimeter thicker Note 3 Neo. So, you know, the, the S4 really feels very good in your hand. It feels light and slim. The S4 is almost 30 grams lighter than the Note 3 Neo. Um, and because of its small compact size, it's perfect for one hand use. There's absolutely no issues. It fits perfectly in your palm. Whereas the Note 3 Neo, on the other hand, of course, it's bigger. It's a phablet. So it's difficult to use it using just one hand. Both the devices have an IR blaster on top, so you can pretty much change channels, control volume of any television and set top box. Uh, there is a USB 2.0 data syncing and charging port for both devices, but the Note Neo comes with the S Pen. The rear panel of the Galaxy S4 is polycarbonate plastic and it's quite glossy. It's got this diamond pattern that I find incredibly good looking. However, if you take it out, only then you realize it's sort of flimsy um, and it can break pretty easy, but nothing of that sort happens. You really don't even realize it, how, how thin it is, unless you take it off. The Note 3 Neo, on the other hand, inspired by the Galaxy Grand 2 and the Note 3 original, um, it's got this textured pattern with, with stitching on around it. But it doesn't feel as good as the Galaxy Note 3 rear panel. It's more like the Grand 2, so it's slightly harder and it's more plasticky uh, than what we've seen in the Galaxy Note 3. The S4 comes with a 2600 mAh battery and the Note 3 Neo comes with a 3100 mAh battery, which must have a fabulous performance. Uh, in the S4, there's a micro SIM slot and a 64 GB expandable storage split in two different places. Whereas in the Note 3 Neo, they're just one above the other. Again, micro SIM and 64 gigabytes expandable storage. There are these uh, connectors for the S View cover for both the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3 Neo, but I haven't really seen anything for the Note 3 Neo out there. I'm guessing Samsung's already working on it. The S4 comes with a 13 megapixel sensor and the Neo with an eight megapixel camera. The software on both the devices is exactly the same, but there might be more filters and more shooting modes in the S4. As I've already mentioned, the S4 has received its KitKat update, which is the latest Android version right now. The Neo still ships with Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, but soon to receive its KitKat update as well. However, when you switch the devices on, both of them are running Samsung's Nature TouchWiz UI, and hence the devices look pretty much similar. You can have your widgets placed on home screens, you can have up to seven home screens, and you can edit and customize them uh, according to your own wish. Uh, the screen animations and transitions are flawless. Both the devices are extremely responsive to touch. However, the Note feature is the S Pen because of which there are a few preloaded apps more into the Galaxy Note 3 Neo and not in the Galaxy S4. So guys, these are the performance scores for the Galaxy S4 and the Note 3 Neo. And as you can see that the Neo with its hexa core set performs better than the octa core set in the Galaxy S4. And I think much of this can be attributed to the 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor uh, in the Note 3 Neo. The chipset is just, it, it performs really well. The Note 3 Neo is primarily more awesome than the Galaxy S4 because of the S Pen, which the S4 does not have. You've got features like Scrapbooker, ScreenWrite, S Finder, Action Memo, and Pen Window, things that you can use to write stuff. So in Action Memo, you can, for example, write a number, write an email, or even an address. 
and then you can link to a specific action. So for example, I write down a number, press on call, and it just does that. You can even add a name to, to this number and then save it into your contacts directly. You can screen write, so you take a screenshot and then you can mark and write whatever you want and share it on WhatsApp, Gmail, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, you know, it's that simple. With S Finder, you can pretty much search anything, the web, your phone, your files, your action memos, whatever you write down using your hand, all of that is searchable. And with pen window, you can pretty much multitask literally. So you can draw a window and call certain apps such as calculator, browser, or chat on, whatever. Now, there are two features that are available in the S4 and not in the Note 3 Neo, and one of them is reading mode and the other one is air view. Now with air view, you can change music tracks just with the wave of your hand. You can even flip through images, you can flip through, uh, you can do a page jump by just waving your hand over the phone. But then the Note 3 Neo has S Note and Scrapbook, which the S4 does not have. So Scrapbook is, say if you're reading something that you really like and you know, you maybe want to visit it later, you want to share it with a friend, you just want to keep it with you, you open the Air Command menu with a with tap on the S Pen and then you choose Scrapbooker, highlight the area and now you can categorize this and put this into a particular label or a tag and you can always come back and look at this later using the Scrapbook app. So you can create your own library of things. And then there's S Note, which is a fabulous note taking app. You can use it to make notes, change brush styles, brush widths, different colors. You can even add graphs and pie charts to it. It's really amazing. Now coming to a few additional features that are present in both the devices are AirView, which is basically, uh, you know, you hover your S Pen or your finger over say a gallery image or a message and it pops open the contents. Then there's Air Gesture, there's motion and palm motion, which is, you know, basically you, uh, you know, you can mute your phone by just having your hand over the top of the phone, things like that. Um, there is smart screen, so that's smart stay, smart pause, and smart scroll. So, you know, if you're looking away from the screen, a video pauses automatically. When you read and you go up and down the screen, your, your page scrolls automatically, stuff like that. So the Galaxy S4 is really just a better looking Galaxy premium device from Samsung. It's slim, easy to operate using one hand. It is powerful. Uh, and it looks just great. It's got a better camera, it's got a better screen because it's a full HD screen, um, and it's cheaper than the Galaxy Note 3 Neo. It's available in the market for 27,000 as of today. The Note 3 Neo is a different league because it's uh, first, it's a phablet, second, it comes with the S Pen, so you can take notes. Now, both of these things are not going to be available in the S4, it is not a phablet, it does not have the S Pen. Apart from that, pretty much everything else is the same. The Note 3 Neo has a better performance, so you can game better on this device, although you would really not be able to make out the difference between the performances of both the devices. The camera in the Note 3 Neo is slightly inferior as compared to the S4, but again, you might not even be able to make out that difference. So guys, these are the differences and the similarities that I wanted to bring alive between the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy Note 3 Neo. I personally like the Note 3 Neo better because uh, I like large screens, but then I would be confused because I still want full HD screens. Anyway, I can't do without the S Pen, so I think I'm going to go with the Note 3 Neo. Uh, I hope this video was really helpful to you guys. Do leave me a comment if you really like it. Uh, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe.